All right, we're back at it, and this time we got Keith with us. We decided to do an impromptu uh, snow camping trip, same spot we were at a couple weeks ago, but this time we're forecasted to get upwards of a foot of snow. It is currently about 6 a.m. in the morning. We hit the road early. We just arrived. The sun hasn't even come up, and the snow has already started to fall. Welcome on this adventure. Well, the reset has begun. Keith and I went out searching for snow and uh, we found it. So. Making some burgers now. Trying to stay warm. What would you say it is? 30, 33 degrees, 34 degrees? 34, yeah. yeah. I don't know if it was out of sheer boredom or or what, but we decided to go on a little hike up this road next to where we camped at and discovered there's quite a few more spots. Yeah, <laughs> that was Keith catching up. He was way back. He's deciding to jog. <clears throat> Surprisingly enough, it's been a, a couple hours since I was last filming and it's still snowing, but the temperatures have gone up a little bit, and a lot of what fell earlier has started to melt. But they're saying that they, whoever they are, that uh, the brunt of the storm is yet to come, that it should get a lot worse later. Keith, you're used to this type of weather, huh? Oh, yeah. I can, Connecticut knows a lot more than this. Yeah. It gets a lot colder. Do the people in Connecticut laugh at Arizona folks when they see videos like this and we yes. call this snow? <laughs> Very much so. I had a feeling, yeah. That might be why my uh, my viewer analytics on YouTube are like non-existent when it comes to the East Coast. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have retreated into our tents. Um, it's, the snow's coming down pretty good out there right now. And I'm just going to sit in here and enjoy the heat and, <laughs> and read my book. Uh, I've read this before and I have mixed thoughts on it, but there is some good information, but it's very old. This is an old book that was written, I think. Well, let me see. The original copyright was in 1954. Um, but there's still a lot of relevant information in it and it is the... How to Stay Alive in the Woods um, by uh, Bradford Angier? Angier? Anyways, 
usually find this pretty cheap online in paperback and in hardback. This is a really old copy here. This is from 1984. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to sit here and enjoy the comforts of the Duck Canvas Kodiak truck tent with the diesel heater. And it's below, it's below freezing outside. And it is a cozy 65 degrees in here. We'll catch up with you in a few. Well, it's coming down pretty good now. It's starting to stick and the temperature's dropping. It's what we came for. That's what she said. Well, good morning. There's a lot of snow out there, I think. I haven't peeked out there yet, but uh, I'm pretty sure there is. Just got an alert that the highway is closed that we take to get home just outside of here. So we're probably gonna be staying a little bit longer than anticipated. I'm optimistic, however, that they'll open it uh, here probably a little bit later today once the plows can get through and get all the snow off the roadway without having to worry about truckers and other motorists. I slept like a baby last night. It, uh, surprisingly, it was very noisy at first. Um, however, I wound up falling asleep and slept great through the whole night, largely in part because of this amazing diesel heater. I cannot sing enough praises to this thing. It can be kind of finicky setting up, but once you get it going, it is a true game changer. It stayed 75, 76 degrees in here all night inside the uh, canvas tent. Right now it is currently 23 degrees outside and uh, I can hear Keith up and about probably making uh, our coffee which sounds really good coffee um, and a toothbrush are the, are the forefront of my mind right now so let's take a peek outside and see what mother nature crafted for us while we were sleeping <laughs> Well, welcome to the winter wonderland that happened overnight. Whether we like it or not, Mother Nature is going to force us to enjoy this splendor for as long as it takes for the Department of Transportation to reopen the highways back home. I don't anticipate that being too long, but needless to say, uh, it's a little bit of a proverbial spoke in the wheels of our scheduling. Well, all good things must come to an end, and undoubtedly this has been 
a really awesome trip for the books. Definitely one of the uh, snowiest in dirt road reset video history. Thanks for joining. And uh, if you liked this content, more than anything, just hit the thumbs up button down below. I don't need to go through the whole spiel about subscribing and all that. Um, listen, if you or someone you know is suffering from anything racking the mind, anxiety, stress, addiction, postpartum, PTSD, you name it. First and foremost, let's break the stigma. There's a very good chance that someone very close to you is going through this and you don't know it and they're afraid to get out and talk to somebody. Get out and find some professional help. There's no shame in doing that. But also, go outside, explore nature, and find your dirt road to reset. See ya. Thank you.